after a few rather stressful days for particular reasons, I've decided to return. Um, there's a big fuss at the minute, I know, about the Royal Shakespeare's company's production of Othello with the idea that, oh, horrors of play about a black bloke marrying a white woman is full of race. <sighs> I really have to say that uh, don't any doesn't anyone learn at school about the roots of the play? Shakespeare's play concentrates less on the race than on the jealousy aspect, but Shakespeare, like most authors of his time and most authors in any age, borrows from other people and borrows sources. And the original story of Othello is borrowed from an Italian writer. I'm going to share the screen and tell you about something about him if you're not familiar with him. The figure of the Moor in Shakespeare's Othello and Cintio's Hecatometti. Short summary, Othello is a masterpiece from Shakespeare, but the plot is copied from the original source, Cintio's Hecatometti. Although the two versions are practically similar, Shakespeare makes some innovations that separate his play from its original source. Othello adds up several characters more to thicken the plot, and the characters are given names. Perhaps the most noticeable difference between the two versions is the depiction of Othello and the Moor. Cynthia's Moor is an unrepellent killer, while Shakespeare's Othello is a tragic hero. Othello and the Moor are similar in a way that they're both as weak as they allow themselves to be manipulated by Iago and the Ensign, which leads them to their tragic demise. But Othello's character stands out as a more superior than the Moor. Um, whoever wrote this was probably, I get the feeling, using the wonderful world of, of chat GDP because it's got some wonderful grammatical errors. That said, as a general simplistic summary, it's quite true. Although it also illustrates don't use chat GDP to do summaries, especially when you call your site graduate way because if I was looking at that I would know straight away it had been written with uh, chat GBT. it gives itself away on several stands what someone's probably done is go into where I'm going to go next Wikipedia and got a summary out here's some quotes from the Wikipedia, um, Wikipedia from the original verse from Cynthia where race is a big issue in it I know what, what, what to say of the Moor. He used to be all love towards me, but within these few days he has become another man, and much I fear that I shall prove that a warning to young girls not to marry against their wishes of their parents, and that the Italian ladies may learn from me not to wed a man whose nature and habitude of life is strange from us. Now, Cynthia's work was written a considerable time before Othello by Shakespeare. So uh, considering that, arguing that racism is not encoded in the text to start with is ludicrous. I can't remember exactly when Cynthia was written. Let's check. Let's have a wander down this text and have a, a check when oh, Cynthia, or his real name is Giovanni Battista Garaldi, wrote it. are originally published in 1565. The general date that Othello is considered to have been published is 1603 or 1604, if I remember off the top of my head. So the idea that there isn't racism in the original is quite ludicrous. You do get arguments on a, to be more fair about criticisms of racism on, on about exactly how Othello is portrayed, whether he should be a black man or whether he should be more an Arab figure, but the idea that he's just suddenly become a black man on stage productions in the last few years, well, that's also equally ludicrous. As you can see here with, unless people were sort of time tripping with the Doctor and the TARDIS, here's a painting from 1880. That version of Othello looks quite black to me. Anyone want to argue it? version at the top they've used then again you do get versions like this from 1906 by Percy Anderson where he was drawing this for um, a manual of a theatrical costume 
And you might argue that that's something more sort of mixed or ambiguous. But then you've got William Salter's portrait here from 1857. And Othello is plainly a black man. It's You just really can't argue that. That's 143, 167 years old. To argue that Othello has suddenly just been portrayed as a black man in the last few years is not really an arguable point. The idea that a Shakespeare play shouldn't be political is bizarre. Shakespeare's plays were political within his own lifetime. Several of them were censored for politics or deliberately flatter the regime in a, an attempt to sort of make himself look good or get the crowds to cheer. There's always been a political edge to Shakespeare's plays. The commentators coming, um, having little rants about the woke RSC com company on many channels, simply assume that their viewers will not go and look up this sort of information and won't look up the background, the, co the context of how complicated these matters are and how race and politics intersect in Shakespeare's plays. Sadly, they're probably right. Most of these channels will just end with people going on about silly comments about darkies and get them all out and, and diggy divers and silly rubbish of that, that sort. Um, as an aside, mentioning the picture of the cat behind me, I'll be coming back to that in a later review. It's from a favourite comic of mine. Um, possibly not today, but within the next few days.